you are being guided. You may feel as if you are alone, but you are fully supported by the universe, by all that is. Your dreams, your vision for yourself is your destiny because in this life, we are able to write our own story, create our own destiny. If you're feeling a little bit lost right now or unsure if everything is really going to work out for you, if this vision you're seeing for yourself is always going to just be a thought and imagining in your head, if you're wondering whether it's ever going to materialize around you, this video is for you. I'm going to be sharing with you eight signs from the universe that everything is going to be all right, that you are going to be all right. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. Sometimes signs from the universe can be very counterintuitive. Sometimes a sign that we're on the right track can actually feel like failure or disappointment. That's why it's so important to be able to read and understand these signs. The first sign from the universe that everything is working out for you and that you are going to be all right, that is very counterintuitive is that you're actually losing friends, losing family members, in the sense that you aren't connecting with people in the way that you used to. This may feel like loneliness when it happens. It may feel as if you are lost, confused, unsure of where you belong. But if you're feeling as if you don't belong, it's because your higher self is releasing these old connections. It's because maybe for the first time you are valuing yourself and your energy so much that you aren't willing to invest that energy in connections that aren't serving you. And by beginning to prioritize yourself and your energy in this way through releasing these old connections, you are actually clearing the way for your soul tribe for deeper, more meaningful connections in your life. Sign number two from the universe that everything is working out for you and that you are going to be all right. You just experienced a failure, but this time you're not giving up. Maybe in the past you felt as if You've had all these brilliant, amazing ideas. You've started to take action on these ideas. And then, out of nowhere, you experienced some kind of setback. And this setback completely threw you off. Completely threw you off course. And you gave up on that dream. But not this time. Maybe recently, you've experienced some kind of failure again. But this time it was different. This time, you were so in tune with your own intuition, your own awareness that everything was going to work out, that the universe was on your side, and that this so-called failure wasn't a permanent state of failure. It was just a temporary defeat. You may have lost this one small battle, but you will win this war. Your awareness of that is your own intuition speaking to you. 
revealing to you this vision that again isn't just an imagining in your head, but a true premonition of what is coming for you, of the destiny you are creating for yourself. Sign number three from the universe that you are on the right path and everything is going to be all right. You're seeing signs and synchronicities everywhere you go. This could be seeing repeating numbers on the clock. This could be someone randomly starting to talk to you about the exact dream you're trying to manifest. Running into people that start conversations about that thing you're trying to create in your life. This could be having dreams in which this thing is already happening, dreaming about your own success. The universe speaks to us through whispers. And only when we become in tune with those whispers, with our own intuition, will we begin to pick up on these signs. And once we are in tune with that, we will begin to hear these whispers, to see these signs everywhere we go. We look on the clock and see 11, 11, 3, 3, 3. We are met with people who resonate with our ideas, with our vision. These are all messengers from the universe that we're on the right path. If you'd like to become more in tune with yourself and your own intuition, consider incorporating my seven chakra clearing subliminal in your daily meditation routine. Often, when we aren't in tune with our intuition, it's because we aren't grounding our energy, because we have energetic blockages usually within the seven main energetic centers we refer to as the chakras. To learn more about this seven chakra clearing subliminal, check the pinned comment of this video or the description box. Sign number four, that you're on the right path and that everything is going to be all right. Even though your life, the life you are creating, is completely unconventional, it is making you happy. It is bringing you a kind of deep, soul-level joy and fulfillment like you've never experienced even before the material successes come through that thing. When it comes to manifestation, the energy moves first and the manifestations follow after. If you are feeling happier, more fulfilled, doing more of what you love, and maybe you're not yet seeing that material success from it, maybe you're not yet knowing the big picture, where this is all going, but day to day, you are feeling alive. Maybe you are feeling alive for the first time in your life feeling as if you are truly expressing your authentic self, sharing your gifts with the world. Know that you are on the right path. These feelings of fulfillment and joy are actually signs from the universe. And what you need to understand is that your talents, your gifts, are your key to those material successes that you also desire. In the Bible, there is a story, a parable, of men who were given talents. And in the story, these talents were actually referring to sums of money. A talent was actually a certain sum of money. So in today's day and age, when we talk about our talents, anytime you talk about your talents or your gifts, Remember that there is a financial, a very real material value attached to those talents. Which leads me into sign number five. That you are on the right path, a sign from the universe that everything is going to be all right. 
You are expressing your true, authentic self, even when the people around you don't like it. You are becoming more fearless and brave in your truth. Maybe your entire life you've been afraid of stepping out there. You've been afraid of truly expressing who you are because what if I am rejected? What if the people around me don't like the person that I truly am and the purpose I truly want to express in this world? But if you find yourself beginning to not care, beginning to tell yourself, I would rather be rejected for my truth than be accepted for my lie. I would rather the entire world fight against me, but know that I am being true to the one person that matters, myself, than to have the entire world accept me, but know that I am rejecting who I truly am on the inside. If you are stepping out into that authentic space, even though maybe it still terrifies you, scares you to your very core, but you're doing it anyway because you are now recognizing the value of that truth. Know that your bravery, your newfound fearlessness in expressing who you truly are is a sign you are on the right path. Sign number six, that you're on the right path. A sign from the universe that you're going to be all right. You are beginning to prioritize yourself, your dreams, your health, and your vision for your life. You are beginning to carve out space in your day, space in which you will tune into yourself before tuning into the world. So often, the reason we fail to achieve our dreams in life isn't because our dreams aren't valuable and isn't because we aren't capable. It's because we never carve out the time to listen to ourselves and our own intuition. We devalue our own power. We essentially lose the key to our own success because we're looking to others for advice, input, and their opinions of us instead of realizing our true power and ultimate potential is within us. You have all the answers inside yourself, but are you taking the time every day to tune in to those answers? The best thing you can do for yourself to manifest your dreams, to stay on the right path, is to take 15 to 20 minutes every morning to close your eyes and meditate. Meditation will be the fast track to everything you desire in life because it gives you the space and time to truly tune into yourself and your own vision, to truly begin to listen to your intuition, to that part of you that has all the answers in your life. Your intuition will be the North Star that guides you to your own freedom, but you have to find a way to begin hearing it. I highly recommend meditating every morning to subliminal affirmations tracks. This is because 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life are actually unconscious. Meanwhile, nearly every law of attraction process is working on only that 5%, that conscious part of the brain. I have created a library of over 100 powerful subliminals for all areas of life. I have created subliminals for bodily, physical changes, for finances, to create the relationships you desire, literally anything imaginable that you would like to manifest. I have created a subliminal to assist you in reprogramming your own subconscious mind essentially brainwashing yourself into manifesting this thing. So to explore this library of subliminals and launch your seven day free trial and access any of these subliminals completely free, check the description box of this video. Sign number seven, that you are on the right path. A sign from the universe 
that everything is going to be okay. In addition to carving out this space, this mental space and time for yourself, like in sign number six, you are prioritizing the health of your own physical body, even when it contradicts what those around you may be wanting you to do. You are becoming more in tune with the needs of your body, whether this means your need to exercise, to move your body every day, to get out into nature. Nature has a perfect frequency and every time you immerse yourself in nature, you are retuning your own being, your own body to that frequency. Sometimes, in order to prioritize our health, our body, our physical needs, we have to ignore what others expect or want from us. Maybe others want you to eat in a certain way, but you are feeling called to certain dietary changes. You are becoming in tune with the fuel your body truly needs to not only survive, but to thrive. You are taking the time to do a certain exercise routine or to get out into nature, even if the people around you would rather you be meeting their needs. It is so important that we become in tune not only with our own mental, energetic needs, but with the very physical needs of our body. Moving our body, fueling our body in the right ways are some of the best forms of physical self-healing, the best way that we can begin to ground our physical energy and manifest our dreams faster. And finally, sign number eight, a sign from the universe, you are on the right path and that everything is going to be all right. You have a feeling that it's coming without knowing why. And maybe the people around you think you're crazy because you have this grand vision for yourself and your life. You keep telling them, I'm going to make it. This is happening for me. I just know this is happening. You are beginning to speak about yourself, your life, and your dreams as if they are already happening. And again, This may look crazy to the people in your life because they can't physically see it happening for you, but you have become so in tune with your own intuition. You have become so confident in your own vision for yourself, for your life, that you can see it happening before it happens. And that is truly the key to making the law of attraction work for you. Being able to believe that it's happening before it happens, will make it happen. That is the secret to life, the secret to reaching your destiny in life. I hope these signs were encouraging for you along this path. I believe in you. Everything is happening for you. Everything is coming together. Your dreams are manifesting. How many of these signs do you recognize in your own life? Let me know in the comments below. If I resonated with you, please subscribe to this channel. Join our community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. Have a wonderful, magical, manifestational rest of your day. And I'll talk to you again in the next podcast.